When I became Premier, I said I wanted British Columbians to participate more easily in the politics and services that impact their lives. That's why we opened up the BC Jobs Plan from the start, why we talked to citizens about economic development, their local workforce, growing sectors like natural gas. Last November, I invited you to be part of an online discussion about skills training, a key pillar of the Jobs Plan. I asked you to share your stories, experiences and ideas, and respond you did. 52,000 visits, 500 comments, 200 ideas in just six weeks. You gave us your creative ideas on the web, by email, Facebook, and Twitter. I wanted to say thanks for um, participating in the discussion, on the trades discussion. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, it was something that uh, seemed very near and dear to my heart. I was uh, really excited to see, uh, see that forum go up and uh, it was really neat being able to be part of it and to uh, see one of my ideas acted upon is uh, uh, staggering. Government is now working with you on many of those ideas. You told us that we need more employer participation in apprenticeship and that there should be more opportunities for youth to talk to employers. You said we need to focus on changing parents' perceptions of jobs in the trades and that youth should have more opportunities to try out the trades in earlier grades. Um, they had said that, you know, they had read my story and then I got another email saying that they had forwarded my story and my letter to the Premier and I was shocked that, like really shocked that she actually read my letter and, you know. You gave government your good ideas. And that's exactly what I envisioned when I first talked about connecting with you in new and meaningful ways. To everyone who contributed to the Skills for BC discussion, I want to personally thank you for being a part of it. You really made a difference.